So we got this cool piano harpsichord intro riff thing that happens. Uh, we can make it happen pretty nice on the guitar here. Uh, come all the way up here for this high voiced B flat. So 10 on the E and the G with the 11 on the B. Okay, we'll just strum it just like that. Kind of hold it for a moment. Hit it again. Quickly switch to an E flat here, which will be 11 on the B and E and 12 on the G. Okay, and we'll go right back to that uh, B flat with the 10s and the 11. Hold it for a moment. And then we're going to strum it three times quickly. And then go right back to that E flat again at the 11s and 12. All right, and then just finish back on the B flat. So slowly be something like. Okay. And the second part of this, we just kind of shift it to starting at that E flat with the 11s on the B and E and the 12G. Hit it, uh, kind of just like how we started with the B flat in the first part. Hit it, hold it a moment. Then we'll hit that again. And then quickly after that, go to 13s on the G, B, and E for what would be an A flat 6, basically. And then we come back to our E flat with the 11s and the 12. Okay, kind of a simplified version of what we did there. Not quite as busy. So slowly the whole thing. We get into the second part of the intro, uh, all the instruments come in. Um, this section here will be this intro part two, and it's essentially uh, the first through fifth chorus that happen. All right, kind of an interesting little uh, composition thing that happens here. So this progression will be good for this section, the intro part two, and choruses one through five. And it starts at a B flat chord here. So one on the A, three on the D, G, B. All right, and it's kind of an offbeat shuffle strum that happens here. So kind of skip the first beat, and then we do quickly two strums on the B flat. Cut it, hold for a moment, and then we just do kind of a dead string, and then come back to that B flat chord and hit that and cut it. Okay, it's kind of a... It's just kind of this loose, almost reggae kind of vibe chord strum that's happening. All right, and you want to do that uh, that strum style. Go through that uh, a couple times with that B flat. All right, and once you get that strumming pattern, you're pretty much set. All right, so that from there we're gonna to switch to an A minor chord. Okay, open A two on the D two G one B. Strum it just like we did the B flat, and same amount of times. All right, shift to a G minor, so just bar the threes with the five on the A and the D. Strum that the same way. All right, and then we end it by doing kind of an offbeat couple of F sharps here. So bar the two with the four on the A and D, three on the G. And with this, you want to kind of skip a beat and then hit it, hit it again. All right, and then we just end on the F chord. So just like we had there, just down a fret at the first fret here. And with this, you just strum it once and let it ring. All right, so let's just try the progression all together now. Okay, next we have the verse progressions here. And interesting thing, you know how the previous progression was chorus one through five. Uh, once we get to that sixth chorus, uh, this just becomes the chorus progression as well. 
All right, so kind of an interesting thing that happens there. All right, and uh, so for starters, when we get to the verse, um, the strumming pattern on this is pretty much the exact same as the other pattern. It's just we essentially do a key shift. All right, so instead of being at our B flat, what we're going to be up here at an E flat. Okay, so six on the A with eights on the D G B. Strum it the same way for the same amount of times. All right, down a fret now. Uh, for the D minor, you could do it here. Five on the A, seven on the D and G, six on the B. All right, drop down two frets for the C minor. Three on the A, five D and G, four B. And this pattern ends just like the other one with a couple of F sharps to the F. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.